All right, so today's video is all about navigating your timeline. I've got 10 tips that are gonna help you more efficiently navigate your timeline. These tips are gonna be geared more towards the beginner and intermediate editors that may not know some of these keyboard shortcuts. But for those of you who are expert editors in Final Cut Pro, if even one of these tips was new to you and you're gonna use it in your workflow, drop me a comment below and let me know which one. I'd love to hear from you. Enough of that intro stuff. Let's get into the edit bay and take a look at these 10 tips that are gonna help you navigate your timeline in Final Cut Pro. So you got a little basic timeline here in Final Cut. This is from a sort of a personal project with photography. Let's get through some of these tips. The first one is just how to zoom in on your timeline. Like what are the different ways that you can zoom in? So you can see here with our timeline, we're really zoomed out. We want to zoom into where that playhead is and start working on the clips at the playhead. So I'm going to hit command plus on my keyboard and just keep hitting the plus sign while I hold command to continuously zoom into my edit. And to undo all that, all I have to do is press and hold the command key and repeatedly hit the minus key until I'm zoomed out to where I want to be. So command plus and minus, that's a great keyboard shortcut for zooming into your timeline in Final Cut. Now there's another tool that you can use. You can press Z on your keyboard and you'll see your pointer switch to this magnifying glass. And then you can simply click repeatedly to zoom in. Now you all know that I'm a big advocate for or the Magic Trackpad. If you want to zoom in and out of your timeline and you're using a Magic Trackpad on your laptop or in a desktop setup like mine, all you have to do is pinch to zoom. Pinch to zoom in and pinch to zoom out, just like on your phone or other applications that use the pinch to zoom gesture. I don't really use this one a lot. I'm more of a command plus or minus, and I also use this method for zooming in on a portion of my timeline so that it'll automatically fit the entire timeline window. So if we press and hold the Z key, and draw a rectangle, your timeline will zoom into just that section that's within that rectangle. You can see here, if we do even a small selection, it'll zoom in really tightly into your timeline. And if we do a bigger section like this, you'll see it'll fill your timeline with just the section that fell under that rectangle that you drew while having the zoom key enabled. So just to review, you can press Z on your keyboard to activate the zoom tool and then click and drag to draw a rectangle selection and your timeline will immediately zoom to fit everything that was in that selected area. This is a really cool keyboard shortcut, one a lot of people don't know, especially expert editors. So definitely something to have handy. I use it all the time, especially when I wanna do a screenshot of my edit. I don't like that there's this end portion here. And if I wanna screenshot my timeline and share it on social media, I want my timeline to perfectly fit the window. So I'll have the zoom key activated by pressing Z and then draw a rectangle across the entire edit right to the end. And then it'll fit perfectly in the timeline window. Now, while I was doing that, I was using a keyboard shortcut to immediately zoom out of my timeline so that everything in the timeline fit perfectly in the timeline window. So if I'm really zoomed in by hitting Command Plus to get way in there, and I wanna quickly back out but have my whole timeline fit the window, all I have to do is hit Shift Z and it'll back out and my entire timeline is now visible in the timeline window. This is a keyboard shortcut that I learned much later in my time editing Final Cut Pro, but it is one that I use all the time so much so I even have it as a shortcut on my Stream Deck mobile here on my computer. So if I'm zoomed in and I wanna zoom out, I just press this button and off I go, Shift Z just like that, the press of one button. I barely have to move to get to it. One of the beauties of having Stream Deck Mobile on an iPad as part of your edit bay. Now, another way to navigate your timeline, especially if you're zoomed in and you don't wanna zoom out, if you wanna to go to the beginning of your timeline, you can press and hold function and then hit the left arrow key and it'll take you to the beginning of your timeline. Now, this pertains mostly if you're working on the smaller Apple keyboard like this. The large keyboard has extra keys on it, a home and end key. The home Home key allows you to go back to the beginning of your edit and the end key allows you to go to the end of your edit. Now let's say I'm zoomed in here and I want to go to the end of my edit. I just hit function right arrow on my keyboard and it'll take me to the end of my edit. So again, press and hold the function key and hit the left arrow on your smaller keyboard and it'll take you to the beginning of the edit. Press and hold the function key and hit the right arrow and it'll take you to the end of your edit. And again, if you're on the full size keyboard, there's dedicated keys, the home and end keys that will do that as well. So I wanna zoom out of my timeline because I don't wanna be this zoomed in. I'm gonna hit Shift Z again, get everything back to square one. Now, another keyboard shortcut that I use to navigate my edit is when I wanna move from edit point to edit point. So if I hit the colon or semicolon key, I can go back to the previous edit. 
you can see it's moving to the edge of every single clip, every single edit point that I have in my timeline. Now, if I want to go to my next edit point, I can hit the quotation slash apostrophe key to move through my edits. And I use this all the time to just quickly navigate through the timeline to move between edit points and to also get really precise to make sure that I'm not you know, with my skimmer sort of off a frame and then doing an edit. If I want to make sure I'm right on that edit point, I just use these keys to be able to do that. So let's say that I've selected a clip, but I want to just cycle through selecting clips in my timeline. If I hit command right arrow, you can see it's moving to the next clip, but making sure that it's selected. Same thing if I want to go to the left or the previous clip, I can hit command left arrow and move through my timeline selecting each clip. I really like doing this when it comes to color grading, and I even have it programmed to my monogram video console so that I can move through each clip using my monogram video console. I love doing this, especially when I'm color grading. So those are 10-ish tips. I think there was more than 10 in there, but those are 10 tips that are going to help you navigate your timeline faster and more efficiently. If there was anything that you weren't sure of or want some clarification on, drop me a comment down below. And if you're an expert editor and you learned a new trick from this video, please let me know down in the comments. If you got value from this video, I'd love it if you hit the like button or subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you be part of the Final Cut fam and this channel. We've got a great community here and some awesome people helping each other elevate their game in Final Cut Pro. Because that's what my mission is. I want you you to master Final Cut Pro so you can stop messing around with the application and get to what you do best, which is editing your videos. That's all I've got for this one, everyone. Until the next one, I'll see you all soon. Don't forget, keep chopping that broccoli.